welcome back to Treasures by Tina. I'm so glad that you joined me today. I am going to be doing a video for you today with redoing my hutch. I did a little disclaimer though. I did lose a little snippet of the video. I don't know how I deleted it, how to get it back. It's just gone. So I'm gonna do a little voiceover um, in that section. And I'm glad you're joining me today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do down below, hit the subscription, hit the notification box. This way, every time I do a video, you'll be notified and you can watch it. And please join me over on Instagram as well as Treasures by Tina 28. And um, I post a lot of content over there with like my outfit of the day or just little tidbits of information or something that's on sale or, you know, whatever the case may be, I always post it over there. So don't wait for a video to kind of join me over there. And um, this way you get daily things too and daily stories. I try to do one or two every day. Um, with the hutch, I had bought it from Facebook Marketplace a couple years ago and it's black. Well, it was black. And, um, you know, I kind of walk by it every day and kind of look at it and I've redone it before. I think I did another video. If you want to go watch my video of how I restyled it when it was black, you can do that too. This way you have like a really good comparison over both um, the black way and then the way I have it now. And, you know, it's just, I just kept walking by it. I'm like, I got to do something with it. I wasn't sure what to do. I went on YouTube. I saw a video. I'm like, that's it. And if you guys are like me, you kind of scroll through lots of different things on YouTube and on Instagram with like home decor or things like that. And it's always good to do that, kind of see um, what other people have done and then just take their ideas and how they put something, painted something, whatever, and make it your own. I'm a big believer, you know, don't copy something fully. Your personality is different from my personality from somebody else's. And it's always important to incorporate that into whatever you do in your home. Because I just really believe a cozy home and a happy heart are what to do. And that's kind of my motto for this channel is cozy home and happy heart. So the part of the video um, that I've lost, what I'll try to do is just do a voiceover, maybe show you the products I used. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy it. I absolutely love it. And I did a couple other pieces too, but I'm going to make separate vid uh, videos for those as well. And I have some recipes coming, a couple of drink recipes coming. So make sure, like I said, you subscribe and you hit notification. Share it if you like it. If you think somebody that follows you or that you have in your life that would get inspiration, um, I'm all about that. So please share it. Any comments, any questions, always leave them below. I always answer everybody. It might take me a day or two, but I will definitely answer it for you. And um, let's get started. Okay, so here is the hutch. I have it all emptied out. And I just wanted to give you guys a really good overview of exactly what I had that I was working with. Um, it, did, it did have like copper handles, which I did remove too. Here is the sandpaper that I used. And I just gave it a good once over, kind of just going in all the nooks, the crannies, really pretty much just taking all the shine off. Um, just so I could start with a really clean and dry surface and a little mess on the sink but this is the um, stain that I used and I just mixed it with water and used a paintbrush to apply it and that's a picture of it right there in case you guys were wondering it's the mini wax and then I used the rust-oleum white linen chalk paint which is really good and I just those are the shelves from inside of the hutch and I just painted them white. And while they were still wet, I took that brush and mixed a little water with the stain and I went right over it. And that's what gives you that kind of weathered look. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you can see right here, um, all the like marks on there and it dried a little bit darker, which was okay. But you can see how it just gave us the look that it was just really old and really weathered. And that was really the look I was going for. Don't mind the bottom. I didn't empty out the bottom two cabinets till way later because um, I just wanted to get this video all situated for you guys so you could see exactly what I did. Um, but then I put the shelves all back in. Obviously, I had taped the doors, but I might do a chicken wire on the doors. I'm still kind of rethinking that. But um, I think it came out really good. And I said I did buy new knobs and they'll be in the next couple pictures from Amazon. And I just kind of let it dry overnight before I started to put things back into it. But I absolutely love it. I think it came out so beautiful. Then, as you can see, I have those little antique silver knobs or clear knobs on it from Amazon. I have that little, um, on the bottom, that little, uh, a lot of little antiques in there. Our wedding picture, 
a little antique vase with some eucalyptus in it. And the one on the bottom I got from an antique store. And I made that white vase with the beads on it. I put all of our wine glasses in there. I put some hanging greenery and some bottles and some antlers on the top. And those are the knobs again, which I absolutely love. And then all of our wine glasses are in over there. And one is missing because I'm currently drinking it. And there's some more um, white vases or pictures rather up there with some greenery at my favorite wedding picture of us. And just like a little white teapot, a little old cowbell, um, some candles that are just loose in the vase that I made. And that was it. And that's just an overview of it. Thank you so much for watching. And any questions, comments, please let me know. I'm glad to answer anything. Any ideas that you may have for me, I would love to hear from them. So here was the before and here is the after. Bye guys, thanks so much for watching.